Suicide rates fall after gay marriage laws in Sweden and Denmark. Here's a summary of the article. Suicide rates among those in same-sex relationships have fallen significantly in both Denmark and Sweden since the legalization of gay marriage, according to a study, although whatever their marital status, homosexual people remain more likely to take their own life. The joint study by the Danish Research Institute for Suicide Prevention and researchers from Stockholm University compared suicide rates for people in same-sex and heterosexual relationships in the periods 1989-2002 and 2003-16. Denmark became the first country in the world to allow same-sex civil partnerships in 1989, with neighboring Sweden following six years later. Same-sex marriage, now authorized in 28 countries, became legal in Sweden in 2009 and Denmark in 2012. Although suicide rates in the general populations of Denmark and Sweden have been decreasing in recent decades, the rate for those living in same-sex marriage declined at a steeper pace, which has not been noted previously. The study, which followed 28,000 people in same-sex partnerships for an average of 11 years, concludes. Annette Erlangsson, the lead author, suggested that along with other gay rights legislation, same-sex marriage may have reduced feelings of social stigmatization among some homosexual people. Of course, it is positive to see that the suicide rate has almost halved. But it remains worryingly high, especially considering that the suicide rate may be higher among non-married people, she told the Danish newspaper Information. This post received a score of 52,112, with an upvote ratio of 85%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I wonder if it's more to do with the acceptance of gay people as a whole than marriage. I'll try to find the study, but there was a decline in suicidal ideation among LGBT youths in U.S. states that passed their own marriage equality acts before the SCOTUS decision. The argument was that teens felt less isolated when the state normalized the idea of gay people being equal citizens. Go figure. Edit, here ya go. Going beyond marriage there's a significant reduction in suicide and mental illness with transgender people when society accepts and treats them better. Imagine that, treat people like human beings and they feel better. I bet every demographic group feels better when society treats them better. Greater than there's a significant reduction in suicide and mental illness with people when society accepts and treats them better. Lol. Perfectly fixed. As all dogs should be. Anecdotal but it's done wonders for my mental health when it passed in the States and I'm not even married. It's hard to describe what it's like to someone when you finally feel like a real citizen of your own country and have equal rights. Huh, treating people like people makes them feel like people? Crazy stuff. Outrageous. Remember, hurt people underscore hurt underscore people. So you want me to hurt people? Yes, daddy. So even people in same-sex relationships outside of marriage have lower suicide rates, that's great. That's a survivorship bias. Suicidal people are less likely to be in a relationship in the first place. I'm not sure you're right. It might be survivorship bias if we were looking at the numbers in absolute terms, but since we're looking at a change in rate, the bias is accounted for. You mean to tell me that if you let people live their lives, without the threat of social persecution, they're more likely to want to live? Damn, that is mind-blowing discovery. You'd think so, but there are plenty of people even around here who seem unable to grasp the concept. What kind of a sad excuse for science journalism is this? Edit, because John Henley is shit at his job and should be ashamed of himself, DOI, 10. The TLDR is three things, none of which are groundbreaking or even surprising. Suicide rates for people in same-sex marriages in these two countries were lower in 2003-2016 than 1989-2002. Unmarried people have a higher rate of suicide than married people, and suicide rates are higher for people in same-sex marriages than for people in opposite-sex marriages. Despite what the Grauniard article implies, the paper doesn't in any way attempt to examine a causal relationship or even a correlation between the actual legalization of same-sex marriages and a drop in suicide rates. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.